So what we know now is that the significance of Dan Rather, who historically is on record as lying specifically about what he said he saw in the Zapruder film, which people took for gospel because they were never allowed to see it for decades. He began his career on Dealey Plaza, and his name was name index, indexed, War College Index, what people would rather. What we've learned from the Texas School Book, it was an argument about put forward by Charles Bronson, who had a namesake from the War College Index filming in Dealey Plaza about what women would rather have. These were the mechanics as a husband. We know this from all of the details of Ken Crimson's Axis Revenge military operation through the Texas School Book, where they planted it in their crime in Pittsburgh. And what they did was Britain sent in the assassins to help, um, including the Beatles in an act of military domination who ran a sort of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, Orson Wells. Um, Wells' um, uh, radio hysteria, trial run of um, Paul is dead, while lacing semiotics with the plan for John Lennon to step out in a Houdini using a body double. And through Pentagon Disney's expertise and legal frameworks in media, succeed in faking his death so that he could give Yoko Ono domination over the United States as a blank check with in partnership with Donald Trump, who tried to um, commit an armed robbery of the United States National Estate his last day in office, or his last week in office. So what we see is um, the vaingloriousness of the Beatles actually taking JFK out as a sacrifice. And they killed Martin Luther King and Bobby Kennedy to give morbidity to the release of the White Album on November 22nd, 1968. Their argument is that we would rather have them for leadership. And I've been trying to apprehend and organize police detectives to go after these bio labs since I realized what was happening in their espionage behind the scenes of the AIDS attack at Carnegie Mellon University. But now it's getting really, the World War II has started, virtually started up again. We're trying to keep that on a low burn so it doesn't just destroy us. So although I think we should be very careful and identify the suspicious people and try to move to secure these labs, um, so much harm has been done by the Beatles that they're just saying surrender. They want uh, access, the Axis Royals to take over NATO and control the world in the name of the Green Party. And blame over Africa is one of their ultimatum weapons. And it's hard to believe that they mean well. They, you know, they, they attacked and destroyed our public schools. They occupied our communication systems with their rubbish music. I mean, how many times can you hear this? grainy, stupid songs that just blur through your, your brain out before you realize you're being brainwashed by, you know, these terrifying hypocrites. They're not friendly. You know, they, what they did to me was just a zero compassion for the human race in, in one object lesson.